This is the organic stream. Welcome. If you look at the history of civilization, there is a direct relationship between the decline of soil quality and the decline of those civilizations. All these things came from the earth. We need to go back to the earth. We're not just keeping this stuff out of the landfill and making it broader. And that's the attitude you have to take. Somebody knocks on your door and says, Can I have your way to be? If you collect waste alone, then you will have you. Hi there, and welcome to another episode of the Organic Stream. I'm your host, Aline Murphy, and today we have a very interesting show covering the topic of compostable plastics the standards and rules in place regulating them, and what they mean for composting facilities. Plastics that can be composted at facilities are being used more and more to replace conventional plastics that pose a threat to our environment and contaminate the organic stream. One of the most popular compostable plastic items is the plastic bag, which we use in our kitchens to collect organic waste, making the process cleaner and more user-friendly. They also come in the form of rigid plastic items, such as cutlery and utensils, that can be thrown in along with food waste after use. With the growing popularity of alternative plastics, more and more composters are being asked to accept an increasing amount of plastics that can be composted at their sites. However, only some of these plastics can be easily composted at a facility without impacting the quality of the end product. We have developed various standards and testing protocols in order to ensure these products meet the requirements needed, but problems still remain. Today, we're going to talk about compostable plastics and what they are. We'll also explore the pressing issues that composters have when dealing with compostable plastics, both in Europe and North America. We'll discuss the various standards and testing protocols currently in place, and whether they are in line with what composters are experiencing on the ground. And we'll also talk about the ways we can improve compostable plastic labelling in order to safeguard against contamination of other types of plastics. And with us to guide us through this hefty topic, we have two great guests. The first is Marco Ricci, current chair of the Working Group on the Biological Treatment of Waste at the International Solid Waste Association and member of the Italian Composting Association, CIC, or CIC. And then from San Francisco, California, we have Hilary Neer, who was recently involved in the development of a testing protocol for compostable plastics at commercial composting facilities for the city of San Jose, California. And before we start, I'd just like to mention the upcoming European Biogas Association Conference, which is taking place between September 30th and October 2nd in the Alkmaar regions of the Netherlands. The topics this year are quite interesting and will include European policy issues, biomethane production and utilisation, and include contributions on cross-border trade. For more information and to register, go to www.biogasconference.eu. And we'll get to the interview in a moment, but before that, I'd also like to thank BioLease for making this episode possible. BioLease is the compostable resin from maize grain made by Lee McGrenn, a farmer cooperative. And now, on to the interview. That was a sample of the Organic Stream episode by CompostStory.org. To listen to the full episode for free on our website, click on the link in the description below.